Today we're going to be looking at how to convert pounds into ounces. To show this, we have a couple of examples that we're going to work through together here, so let's get started. For question number one, we're being asked to convert five pounds into ounces. As we can see up top here with our conversion, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So whenever we're converting pounds into ounces, we're going to multiply the value of our pounds by 16 in order to convert those pounds into ounces. So returning back to question number one, we're converting five pounds into ounces. So we're going to multiply five times 16 in order to convert those five pounds into ounces. So when we start out multiplying five times six, we get 30. So we're going to write our zero and then we're going to carry our three. And then when we multiply five times one, we get five plus the additional three gives us eight for the product of 80. So when we convert five pounds into ounces, we get 80 ounces. Now moving on to question number two, where this time we're being asked to convert eight and three tenths of a pound into ounces. So in order for us to convert these pounds into ounces, we're going to multiply as if the decimal isn't there, and then we're going to add our decimal back into our answer later. So we're going to multiply 83 times 16, and then we're going to add our decimal back into our final answer. So starting out with our ones place, when we multiply 6 times 3, we get 18. So we're going to write the 8, and we're going to carry the 1. And then when we multiply 6 times 8, we get 48 plus the additional one gives us 49. So when we multiply six times 83, we get 498. Now we're gonna put a line through the one as well as through the six because we're done with them. Then we're gonna drop a zero to the next line and now we're gonna multiply by our tens place. So when we multiply one times three, we get three. And then when we multiply one times eight, we get eight for 830 when we multiply 83 times 10. Now we're gonna add these partial products together starting from the far right. Well, when we add eight plus zero, we get eight. And when we add nine plus three, we get 12. So we're gonna write the two and we're gonna carry the one. One plus four gives us five and five plus eight gives us 13, which is gonna give us the final product of 1,328. But we do have to add our decimal back into our answer. And we can see up top here that we had one digit to the right of the decimal place. So we need to make sure in our answer that we have one digit to the right of the decimal place. And though it might be a little confusing to see here, it's going to lie between the two and the eight. So we're just going to write our decimal place there, giving us the answer or the product of 132 and eight tenths. So when we convert eight and three tenths of a pound into ounces, we get 132 and 8 tenths of an ounce. So hopefully by now you understand how to convert pounds into ounces. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.